I'm Brian Moran, founder of Government CIO. Welcome to Government CIO Magazine. Good morning, this is Suzanne Bernard. I'm with Government CIO Magazine, and we're at the Department of Housing and Urban Development with Chief Information Officer Rafael Diaz. So HUD is looking at evaluating every piece of technology, every, every way we do and support HUD's mission. So we're looking at how do we change everything. And so whatever is new, whatever is innovative, we're looking at that. How do we implement it? Cloud, for instance. We don't have a cloud presence at all. And so we don't have capabilities for uh, access through mobile devices to our data and to our systems. And so we're looking at how do we provide that those capabilities to our staff that are out in the field. Those field offices are where the rubber meets the road. So we're looking at how do we ensure that those staff in the field offices, in the regional offices, have the data that they need to make decisions to make uh, to help to help further the mission. So we're looking at HUD anywhere, HUD anytime, HUD anyway. The risk management is a big, big topic. There's a lot going on there in, in risk management. So we're looking at a, a number of ways that we manage our risk. First of all, understanding what the threat is, then understanding where our data is, who owns the data, who has access to the data, and then what type of controls are controlling that data, right? Managing that data. So we're essentially we're looking at NIST and how do we implement full, the full NIST compliance. Uh, excuse me, FISMA compliance within within the agency. In order for HUD to achieve its goals, we need to implement a very strong and disciplined governance, IT governance model. And one of the things that I found here that there is there are those models we have those we have thought through those but we haven't implemented them fully and so i'm working very closely with the deputy secretary with the other c level executives in in ensuring that we are implementing this governance model across hud and especially for it so that it projects are better managed are more effectively um, delivered and ensuring that we are supporting the mission Well, you know, really there's no difference. IT in the federal space, IT in the, in the industry is the same. We're doing the same types of projects. We're looking to achieve the same goals. Our missions are, may be different, um, but IT really is about managing, uh, managing, managing your people, processes, and technologies. And so we're, we're looking at how does industry do it best, what are the best practices out there, and ensuring that those best practices are being implemented. How do we, how, what are our systems? We're looking at uh, IT service management, the ITIL framework, the, uh, the uh, capability uh, maturity model. So all these best practices are part of our organization and how we're improving the organization. So there's really no difference, but there's certainly um, a different level of accountability. And so we're looking at how do we ensure that accountability is being met. So transformational change, we're looking at, it's really broad. It, we're looking at very broad and very deep, starting with our people. What are the staff requirements? What are, what, who are the staff that we need in place and what are the skills that they need? As we're looking to transform IT and moving it into the 21st century, then we need a 21st century workforce. So the, it's all about our people. That's why it's people, process and technology. People have to be first and who our staff are, how well they're they're trained and how well we've got the process in place to support the staff that they to do the job that they need to do and then the technologies that are helping them and enabling them to do their mission. The 
the basic, the same basic performance metrics and and the IT metrics that are out there. When you're looking at how many projects you have in place, how how well are they being ex executed? Are they on time? Are they on budget? You know, what's the cost of that of that uh, of that project? So you're looking at the same essential. IT metrics that are being used in the industry, we're using as well here in the federal space. Good question. That's a challenge. So when we're looking at what the budgets are, we're looking at what we can get accomplished within within those within those those limits, if you will. And um, I think we've got a very good. So can we stop that? Yeah. All, right. All right, let me start over again. So when we look at the budget, it's certainly a limiting factor, and we need to ensure that the projects that we're moving forward are within the scope of our budget. And I think we've got a very good model for how we're implementing the projects that we've got in place. We're looking at... Um, Capabilities to save money in within the current um, within the with some of the current uh, constraints that we have, and we're looking at where we can save across the across the organization, and we're engaging the program areas to ensure that we've got uh, their buy into how we're moving forward with the with the changes within within HUD, and we're working collaboratively across those program areas to make these changes happen. So your PMOs are the, they're the front line of uh, making, of being effective. And we're looking at our PMO capabilities, we're looking at how well are these folks trained and how well do they have how many, how well resourced they are. Do they have the appropriate resources they need to make these projects work? So our, the projects here at HUD are very complex. They're, um, they are very demanding. And so they're, they have some very complex requirements that need to be met. And so we're looking at our PMOs and saying, these are the folks that need to ensure the projects are completed. So it's one of the areas that we're emphasizing as our, our project management office. So what we've been doing at HUD is we've been looking internally at what are the critical initiatives that we need to move forward for transformation. And we've identified six initiatives. Uh, of course, the first one is workforce transformation. And uh, that's going to be foundational because it will be impacted by the other five. Uh, the the other five are the enterprise architecture transformation. How do we manage the enterprise? How do we manage the architecture within our our environment so that it's sustainable, it's efficient, it's uh, easily maintained? Um, what mobility? How do we implement and provide mobility capabilities across HUD? So there's multiple roles within HUD to fulfill the mission. So how do each of these roles have the appropriate mobile capabilities so that they can make the best decisions, HUD anywhere, HUD any, any time, HUD any way. Um, we're looking at um, our, uh, our branding, our digital branding and our digital capabilities, our digital communication. So how are we communicating within the organization, within HUD and with, with our customers so that we're providing information appropriately and we are gathering information appropriately. So we're getting feedback from our customers in a timely manner so that we can make the appropriate adjustments. Um, the other one is IT service management. How are we managing our, our, our processes within the office of the CIO so that we can provide better services to HUD and to our customers? So HUD internal customers, HUD, external customers. How are we identifying those IT governance issues, those service management issues? There's one more, and I'm, I'm forgetting it. It's the remote, it's the field office strategy. So as we look at our field offices that have multiple 
HUD organizations or HUD um, units, pro HUD program offices within a specific office, how do those offices collaborate? How do they do the business of HUD in the communities and with the, with the different uh, local organizations? And how can we best support that, the way they do business? How can we provide them the appropriate technology that they need to be able to do their business? And how do we ensure that their processes are being supported to be more effective and more efficient? So those, that's our overall strategy that we're moving forward with. It's transformative, it's broad, and it's deep, and it looks at every aspect of the Office of the CIO and how the Office of the CIO can be a service provider to HUD.